even as I was observing, says the Lord, those that came into my temple to pray, those that came into the temple to give, that I took notice of all of them. But one stood out that came, and she, as a widow, gave her whole self unto me, as well as her substance. It was so minute. It was so small and insignificant to others. But I took notice of her because she gave everything to me. I take notice of you. I see many coming into my house to pray, many to come into my house that will give, many that give of their leftovers or things that are in surplus to them. But I regard those that give sacrificially themselves first unto me and then their substance, not just a tenth, not just an offering, but that they have become an offering unto me, that they have become that living sacrifice unto me, that they have sacrificed their time, sacrificed their self, and given their whole self unto me. That's what I am observing. That's what's standing out to me, says the Lord. I am not looking at the plentiful. I'm not looking at those that seem to be the most likely to succeed. I am looking at those that I have called out, even among the brethren, and I have called them close to me. I have separated them unto me. They belong to me, not just in part, not just parceling themselves unto me. But there are those that stand out among their brethren, says the Lord, that are a total sacrifice unto me, that have given their full self unto me, and they have gone beyond their own strength and ability. They have given unto me everything, seen themselves as most significant, seen themselves as a deficit in my kingdom instead of an asset. Coming to me and saying, what can I do? What can I give? What can I be? I have nothing in my hands or so little and I cannot meet the need and I cannot stand in the gap and I cannot do anything that is of any significance at all in your kingdom. But here I am. In spite of my lack, in spite of how little I am, in spite of how little I know, and in spite of how little I can contribute, I give myself to you. I see that, says the Lord. I see that among the brethren. I see that among my people. I see that in my body. And that's what I am going to use. I'm going to take those that have a commitment to me, those that love me with all of their heart, those that will sacrifice themselves first unto me, and that which they have in their hands, they will give it unto me. And I will fill them with my spirit and fill them with my fire and fill them with my word and fill them with myself. And they will be used mightily for me. Though they see themselves as nothing, I see them as my called out, chosen people of God. And they are significant to me. You are significant to me, says the Lord. You are my people. You are my called out people. You are my chosen people. You are my people that I watch over. You are my people that I dwell in the midst of. I have called you for such a time as this. And even though you don't see that you can do enough or be enough or give enough or affect anything at all, I have chosen you, and you are committed unto me, and I am committed unto you, and I will use you significantly for my glory, even though you feel despised and rejected and overlooked 
and oftentimes overrun by the multitudes and trampled under feet. I did not make you a doormat. I did not make you to be insignificant. Your significance is in me, and I am in you to complete you, to perfect you, to give you more than enough and make you more than enough than you could ever be. I have chosen you, elected you, selected you, and I am more than enough for you. I will use you more than you can know and see. And you are bigger than you thought because your greatness is in me, the great I am in you. I will stand alongside to help you. I will lift you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will build you. I am your builder and maker. I have redeemed you and saved you and called you and equipped you for my purposes to be fulfilled. And I will fulfill those purposes in you, with you, and you through me, and me in you, and I will use you for my glory. And those of you that feel that you're so nothing and humble yourself before me, I will lift you up. I will satisfy the longing of your soul. I will do great and mighty things through those that no one wanted, no one seen, no one recognized, no one wanted to align with. But they're aligned with me and I am with them. I am with you, and I have chosen you for such a time as this, says the Lord.